Skia is a drawing API and the basic components of drawing are shapes. Hi, my name is Saurav Ganguly. I work here at Geeky Ants as a React Native developer. And in this video, I'll talk about basic shapes that React Native provides and we can work on them on the go. At first, I'll introduce you to two basic components that you could use to start with Skia. Uh, and that being a circle that React Native provides on the go and also a rectangle. To talk about a circle, you define the C. We also spoke about this in the previous video. You define the center according to the x-axis, also a center according to the y-axis. You would also define a radius of how big a circle would be and the colors of the circle. Now a rectangle, uh, you define the x-axis and the y-axis. Uh, what is this? This is where the rectangle would start from and this is the points of a rectangle on the left top corner and you define the width and the height. What is the width and the height? Uh, this 256 would be starting from the x-axis and moving on 256 towards the x-axis. Also, uh, height 256 means starting from y at 0 and then moving down 256 and that would create a square or a rectangle or a polygon in general and the color, defining the color of the shape that you have created. Now, in most of the cases when you create an app or you create a website, you need rounded rectangles, you need a border radius, right? And Skia takes care of that with a rounded rect, which is very similar to a rectangle. The properties are similar. You define the x, you define the y. Also, you define the width and the height, uh, somewhat very similar to the previous component that we used. But here we have a radius. This is the border radius that we provide. Here it is 25, and that would just create a quite simple curve uh, at the ends of your uh, shape or your polygon, mostly your rectangle or square. <coughs> and you define the color. So that's a rounded rectangle. Now, React Native of Skia also provides you with something called the diff rect. This is drawing the difference between the two rectangles. So you define something called the outer rectangle and then you define the inner rectangle and then you can subtract the inner rectangle from the outer rectangle and the border that is left, that will be drawn onto your screen. At this point, for example, here, I have, you can define the diffract component. You define what would be the inner uh, shape and you define what would be the outer shape and you define the color. So now as we know how basic components in Skia work as, you could draw this uh, onto your screen and for this I wrote a similar code. We have the outer rectangle which you can see over here. We also have the inner rectangle and I have subtracted the inner rectangle from the outer rectangle. Now the inner rectangle we ha will have a height which is smaller than the outer rectangle so that we can create this difference and also inside of this difference somewhere at the center from here to here there would be the center of this circle based on the y-axis and from this point to this point there would be a center which would be the center of this circle uh, based on the x-axis. So when you see the code, it's very simple. We have the outer circle. So these are the shortcuts here. Uh, rect will define the rectangle. 50 and 50 is where the rectangle starts uh, with respect to the x and y axis. And 250 is what the width of the rectangle will be on the x-axis and 500 is starting from 50 what the height of the rectangle will be uh, on the y-axis. And 25 and 25 is the radius of the rounded rectangle. And this is the rectangle component and this is uh, wrapped around a rounded rectangle component which is also used as a shortcut as uh, R rect which, is, which defines the radius uh, on the, of the outer rectangle. Now we define the inner rectangle. This inner rectangle also has a inner rectangle component which is being wrapped around by a rounded rectangle, R rect. And then this also has a 25 and 25 uh, border radius. Now, this starts at 50. This starts somewhere uh, at a gap of 25 in the x-axis and in the y-axis. So it starts at 75 and so does, it starts on the y-axis at plus 25. And 
on the ending points, I have uh, pushed this up because we need uh, the circle to be at the center at bottom and at 400 so that this y-axis is at a difference of 100 from the uh, bottom. So uh, this is not, uh, so again 400 is not to be confused with what y-axis ends at. This is 400 plus 75. So the y-axis, so the ending points of your rectangle is 475. So uh, the center of your circle, as I said at this point, so this if is 400 and this was 500 according to the width, uh, the center would be 475 plus somewhere around 515, uh, I guess. And that would make the center of Y to be 513 and then uh, the center of X to be five, uh, 175. Now I fix the radius to be 25 and the stylus stroke, stylus stroke, we have again discussed this in the previous video. Stroke means the circle will not be filled at the center, it would be just the parameters of the circle drawn. And the stroke width is defined as 10 at this point, which is hash FFF at this point. If you see the diagram, this is something that the diagram would be created. It would start at 50 somewhere here and then the next rectangle would start at 75 going down till here and a circle being made at this point. And with this, you will create a shape, some, something similar to this at, as we have discussed at this point here. Obviously, you can uh, change this over the time and also you can put animations on this. We will discuss about animations on the next video and when you get it, get into the uh, documentation, you would find a lot more shapes that React Native would provide for you. This path which for where you just have to put the SVG path and your path would be defined with React Native Skia. Your shape would be defined with React Native Skia and you can define the color inside of it. And that is the path component. You can also create something similar to stroke at this point uh, using, yeah, using stroke join round, using stroke width and also style stroke. So you see what we have used in circle, this is very similar to be used on the path component also. And also this has a start point and an end point. You can define the start and an end point with an animation that would be similar to a loading screen maybe. And with the start and end point at this, we have a star with almost half of uh, this. On polygons, we have discussed polygons, rectangles, rect, and we have discussed circles. With vertices, you can also define the corners of your shape. So for example, we have only discussed about circles and rectangles. What if you want to make a triangle? You define vertices. For example, here I have three points and this would create a triangle like this, right? Also you can define rectangles, not that we only have to define a rectangle based on a rectangle component. You can also have four uh, vector uh, components that would define your rectangle. So you can see starts at 0, 0. So this is obviously this point right here. And 256, 0 is somewhere x, 256, somewhere here. And 256, 256 is somewhere here, right? Uh, yeah, so with vertices, you could define where the vertices would be of your shape and you can define the color inside of it. Patches, have you seen something similar to fabrics? or something uh, similar to 3D fabrics. If you see what cons patch is, you see this diagram. This is a math mathematical model that we usually come across, but you could create something exactly like this with patches provided by React Native Skia. It also provides you with boxes. It has the box, you define the box, you, which is similar to uh, you defining the rectangle, the rounded rectangle, you define the rectangle inside of it and the border radius and the color. But box, box would also come with shadows and you can define the shadow on each of the boxes and should it be the shadow inside of the box, should the shadow be outside of the box. So that is the inner and outer uh, shadows. Also this is 10, 10 and this is minus 10, minus 10. This defines the shadow being on the right or on the left of the box. In the next video, we would be talking about animations and different kinds of animations. Stay tuned for that. 
I had a great time explaining this. Thank you so much. See you in the next video.